Okay, level two and three of our unit 11 deals with three-dimensional shapes or solids. Level two, specifically what we're working with, will be on surface area, and level three will be on volume. What I've included here in this first part of level two is just some of the shapes and their names and what they look like. I know you're familiar with a lot of these, but let's just go through a couple of the quick things to look for because that'll help you when you get to finding those two different calculations. So the first one is called a prism, a solid with two bases that are congruent and parallel. So you can see I've highlighted, um, like on this box, it's called a rectangular prism because the base is a rectangle. Um, the two bases are rectangles and they're exactly the same. This is called a triangular prism. The two bases are identical triangles or congruent triangles. This is a hexagonal, excuse me, pentagonal, because the sides are, or the bases are pentagons. And this would be a hexagonal prism because the bases are hexagons. Our work is mainly going to deal with um, a rectangular prism and triangular prism. Cylinder is, is a type of prism, but the bases are always going to be circles. I think the cylinder is probably the easiest one to work with because there's not a lot of variation on it. But you can see both of these circles are going to be um, congruent. They're going to be exactly the same to each other. Um, and we're going to learn how to find um, different things with that. The pyramid is probably one of the most difficult calculations to make as far as um, finding the right pieces. Um, we are going to do some of the very, very basic ones. Um, but a pyramid basically is a solid, you forgot an eye in there, with one base and faces that meet at a point. So when we talk about um, the base, you can see here, this one's a triangle, this base is a square, this base is a hexagon. But that base, um, all of those points come up to a single point up here. And the sides are called, in fact, on all of these, the sides are called the faces. Okay, same thing on this one. It's got one base, which is going to be a typical shape that we have. They all come up to a single point, and this one would have actually four faces, one on each side. This is a hexagonal pyramid. The base is a hexagon. It's going to come up to this point here, and the six faces are all going to be identical. Cone is a type of pyramid, but the base, rather than being a triangle or a square, the base is a circle. Again, because circles are very like consistent on what they need, um, those are usually pretty easy also. Good grief. Solid. Must have been in a hurry there. A sphere is a solid in which each point is equidistant from a center point. So if I have a center point in here, if I just look at this dotted, that's a circle, right? So our definition of circle was all the points equidistant um, from that center point. A sphere just does it three-dimensionally. So just be familiar with those. These first four are the ones that we're going to focus on um, in the next two levels. Um, so I just wanted to make you familiar with what those were, were and what they're called. Second part of our notes is basically what this whole level is about. Okay, this is called surface area. We just got done in level one doing just plain area. Surface area is the amount of space covering the outside of a three-dimensional shape. It is the sum of all the area of the areas of all the faces. Remember the faces are the sides. It is measured in square units, such as square centimeters. Oh goodness. Sorry about that. It should be square. inches, and so forth, whatever the, the measurement is, okay? So when it says the surface amount is the space covering the outside of the 3D shape, it'd be like wrapping a present. How much wrapping paper does it take to cover all six sides, all six faces of that package? Okay, I think of this used often with, um, like, manufacturers who um, make cardboard boxes, Okay, so many of us are getting boxes in the mail. So if this is a rectangular prism, because we've got otherwise known as a box, okay, the surface area is going to be 
the area, the separate areas of all six sides, which are all six rectangles. Okay, so if we draw what's called the net, a net would be if I would take a, a cardboard box, and I would cut the edge so that it could all lay flat, it would look something like this. Okay, this is called a net. So a net of this shape would show all six rectangles that I could find the area of all six of those, add them all together, and that would give me the total surface area of this box. Okay, so just to get an idea what surface area is, and we're gonna take, we're gonna have formulas for every single thing of this, okay? And you won't obviously need to memorize the formulas, but you have to know how to use them. And more importantly, where on my picture am I gonna find that information? You're not gonna have to do any nets, but I wanted to give you a visual of what surface area actually looks like if I would break it down into a net, okay? So next lesson, we'll get into what are the formulas for prisms.